Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about 4 to 20 milliampere current source for instrument loop simulation. I am talking about 4 to 20 milliampere simulator or a current source. So, in industrial application, to simulate analog input channels, we need to have a current source. We don't have transmitters, pressure transmitters, level transmitters, or any transmitters always. To check a loop, we need this type of current sources. So in a current source, we have to we have to provide 4 to 20 milliampere current to the input channel and we read the channel characteristics. So this can be achieved with a very simple circuit. I am going to show you the circuit diagram first. So as you can see here, this is a simple circuit diagram for a current source or a 4 to 20 milliampere simulator. So this is 24 volt DC supply. It is controlled by a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. This end is open in potentiometer. So it will be connected with 360 ohms resistor and a milliampere meter for the display. And from here it has to be connected to the analog input card. As you can see it from here it has to be connected to the analog input card. Like this we can connect it. So this is the circuit diagram. This is the very basic circuit diagram. So here is the 24 volt DC supply. And when we adjust this knob here, potentiometer, there will be a current change from 4 to 20 milliamps across this multimeter or milliampere meter. And the same current will be reflected in the analog input card and it will show us the scaling of the card. So this is a very basic and simple circuit diagram to implement. So as you can see here, I have implemented this circuit like this. So this is my 10 kilo ohm resistor and you can see here, this is my 5 ohm 360 ohms resistor. This is a fixed resistor. This is a current limiting resistor because when the 10 kilo ohm goes to minimum value, it will be 0 ohms. In that case, the circuit will draw huge current and the potentiometer will burn or there will be a short circuit. So to prevent that short circuit, we are using this 360 ohm resistance. So this is connected like this and I am connected to a 24 volt DC supply. I am connected to a 24 volt DC supply. So as you can see here, you can see here 24 volt DC supply is present and my loop current is 4 milliamps. So now I am going to adjust the current slowly. As you can see, I am adjusting the current. You can see 4.24. See the current is increasing. You can see the loop current is increasing. You can see the voltage is constant. So this current will be fed to, a, to an analog input channel. So you can see here, this current is increasing 12 milliampere, 14 milliampere. 16 milliampere. So now it is just a minute. I have exceeded the scale. So here you can see 20 milliampere. So I am reducing 16 milliampere. 13, 12, 11, 10. See, I am reducing the milliamps. See here, I am adjusting it. I am adjusting it here. And you can see, I am reducing the milliamps. You can see, the current is decreasing. The loop current is decreased. And it is go, it has it is now four milliamps. It will further go down. So it will further go down, but that is not my objective. So this is how we can control a four to twenty milliampere current using this kind of simple circuit. So this is how we can implement a current simulator or a current source. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. This is a tested circuit. Please make it and test it in industrial applications. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.